Hi everybody. Um, guess what? I got my May Ipsy bag already. Let me see my hair. <laughs> Nothing, I guess. Me seeing things. Now, last month's Ipsy bag was late. So, I guess this one was early. I was surprised to see it yesterday. Oh, there was so much stuff going on yesterday. Uh, I'll tell you that about it in a minute. Anyhow, I'm going to get right to this. Um, I opened it, this part already. So, and um, that is a pretty bag. That's a real pretty bag. It's got a little um, pull thing on it that says Ipsy. And it's kind of leathery feeling. So it's really, it's nice. Of course it has the little Ipsy um, tag in here. It's really cute. It's pink with flowers and things. Um, well, okay, I don't know where to start. So I'm gonna start by looking at this because this tells me more than I can get off of the Oh my, my table here is just a complete mess off the product itself. Um, well, let's go with the biggest this thing here. The Sol de Janeiro Cocoa Cabana Cream. It's Cocoa Cabana Cream, so I'm assuming it's going to smell like summer. Um, close your eyes and take a whiff, and the scented cream will transport... You into the tropics thanks to the Brazilian inspired notes of coconut, orchid, and toasted praline. Oh, I've never really smelled toasted praline. Um, oh, and the blend of body loving oils. They leave the skin hydrated for four, 72 hours. So this is a, um, really actually it says a uh, tip is to massage the cream into damp skin after showering. To lock in the extra moisture so this is a skin cream and um, it's a pretty jar and uh, wow that really smells like coconut <laughs> that has a very strong scent it smells good definitely definitely smell like you've been to the beach wearing this stuff it smells good Mmm, smells really good. It's Cocoa Cabana Cream. And the price of this, this is a, obviously a deluxe sample, so it says it is. But, ooh, if you bought a full-size version of this product, it would be $45. That's a lot of money. Although I did pay $35 for two bottles of lotion for my husband did for my me from Victoria's Secrets a couple weeks ago. I showed you that. But it's two bottles. Okay, let's see what's next. What do we got here? This is the Ann T. Dole's Dotes. <laughs> Antidotes Tinted Moisturizer. Oh. So I guess you get some tint to it. I guess. It says the complexion perfecter is made with bio retinol and natural ingredients that mimics the line smoothing effects of retinol plus vitamins A and C to brighten and protect. It comes in a post consumer recycled tube. Okay, this tube is recycled. And if you bought this, this is not a full size, this is a deluxe sample, which is awfully small. Um, it would be $24. So. another skin product cream for your face. Um, oh, well. Okay. This looks like lip, lip gloss. I need that because I'm going to tell you what, I have some sores in my mouth from something and um, I got to go to the dentist tomorrow and that's not going to go over well. Um, my lips are always chapped. So this is a moisture rich hydrating balm and it looks like it's Probably watermelon flavor because it has watermelons all over it and um, yeah watermelon moisture rich hydrating balm um, this is full-size and if you bought this 
This is by Jersey Shore Cosmetics. If you bought this outright, it would be $10. That's an awful lot to spend for moisturizing for lip balm. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, oh, we have some. Um, this is Hanelli Company Kona Peptide Hawaiian Eye Cream. Some more eye cream. So there's a lot of stuff in here for your face and eyes. Um, it's jam-packed with good for you ingredients. Peptides help firm caffeine, reduces puffiness. Okay. <laughs> this is another nature thing. And it says that it will help with uh, dark circles under your eyes. So there you go. And if you bought this in full size, which this is, don't look like a sample or a deluxe sample. If you bought this full size, it would be $24. So <laughs> that is that one. And this is stuck on you. Hey, that's a cute phrase. Eye primer. Hmm. Uh, stuck on you eyeshadow primer. The difference between eyeshadow that smears in seconds and eyebrows that last for uh, hours. Okay. Let's check this out. I never can open this box because they've got it so tight um, <laughs> without ripping it apart or tearing up my nails. There we go. Got it. Okay, this is probably a deluxe sample. Oh my goodness, I can't open it. What is stopping it? Paper. Okay, it looks like it's, well, if it's the eye primer, it's probably just a neutral color. So I'm just not going to open it, but this is what it looks like and it's stuck on you. Cute little, uh, little, K, little glass container. And if you bought this outright, I guess this is a full size. This this is a full size. Wow. This is a fifth uh sixteen fifty. That's what this costs. So that's pretty good. So I got really actually two size two full size products in this one. That's not bad. I like it. Um, the bag is really cute. I'll put it back for a birthdays or a giveaway. Uh, I, I, you get so many bags that it's kind of hard to keep them all. And, um, but I like them because I can give them as gifts and they make nice gifts. They're pretty. It's got flowers and stuff on them. Anyhow, about yesterday. <laughs> this is crazy. You're going to think that I live in a crazy building. Um, <laughs> it's relatively quiet. You're up on the fourth floor. Everybody up here is very, very quiet. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Anyhow, downstairs, straight downstairs below us uh, on the first floor is a couple. And they have a Labrador Retriever. They're not supposed to have that big a dog in this apartment complex. But I don't know how they get by with it. Um, they don't. I think they're trying to find. They're trying to say it's a comfort dog and it's not. This is a young couple. I don't know if they're married, their girlfriend and boyfriend. But... I got a package from Walmart yesterday, a personal package that I ordered, and um, there's two entrances to this building, to our building, and uh, they're both secured entrances. There's, there's, you can't just, nobody can just walk in. It, you have to either, oh, what was that? Buzz them in, uh, or let them in, or um, go down and get it yourself. Okay, um, they're supposed to call, ahead of time and let us know. Well, I got an email with a picture of my um, delivery and it didn't even look like the building that I live in. It looked like it was taken from the car somewhere. So I was running to both doors and in the meantime, the girl who lived in that apartment down there, the laundry room is also down there across the hall from her uh, catty corner. I was waiting on the elevator to come back up 
after I checked both doors. And um, she walks out of the laundry room in her underwear <laughs> and uh, goes over to her apartment. I thought that was very rude. It was embarrassing. And I didn't say anything. I got in the elevator. And then I remembered the maintenance man saying that he had been into the, they, I, they were doing something about their dog. And um, he was in that apartment because they had a water leak in their bathroom. And he had to go in there and they called him and he, they, he you know, he went in there to fix it. And um, while he was in there fixing it, the boyfriend who lives there, her husband, burst into the apartment, gets in the maintenance man's face and starts yelling at him and threatening him and saying that his his girlfriend is there, or his wife, girlfriend, whatever, uh, sleeping, and she sleeps nude. And he was looking at her. And that maintenance man, I felt sorry for him. I, I thought he was going to, he did not know she was even there. He had no clue. He was just there to do his job that they had wanted him to do. So, um... Yeah, her walking around down there like that, I have a feeling, you know, if it, I, I get, uh, there's three other apartments, four, one, two, three other apartments down there, and I get the feeling that if there was a man instead of me, that her boyfriend would have rushed out and said, what are you doing looking at my girlfriend or something like that, and she's out there running around in her underwear, which is totally unacceptable in a public, you know, area. I don't get it. I don't get people like that. I feel sorry for the dog. The dog is always yelping, like they're trying, they're yelling at the dog all the time, and yet the dog's never on a leash. And um, so, yeah, that was the excitement here yesterday. So, I, I, yeah, I came back up. I finally got my package delivered, and um, I called the office, and I told them, that's unacceptable behavior. If there was a, I have a feeling, if it was a man that she would have been yelling and screaming and calling her boyfriend like she did with the maintenance man. And I, I don't know what their gig is, but it's about up, I think. They've had enough complaints about him. And um, I'm getting a little tired of it. But anyhow, that was my day yesterday. Today, I've got a lot of cleaning to do. And, uh, well, not a lot, but, um, and then some things to take care of. And, uh, yeah. Yesterday was crazy. Today I wanted to be just a little bit more quieter. And um, I guess that's all. I think I'm supposed to be getting a um, birch box. I think it is. I'm not for sure. Can't remember. I saw it in the thing. And Walmart also sent me a n notice about how if I, you know, to make sure that I didn't have my address changed or anything like that so they could give me my summer. Um, makeup um, bag or box, which I can't wait for that either. Um, anyhow, you guys have a great day. Stay safe. Get your shots if you haven't had them yet. Um, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.